it. Mike's here to bail me out. Yeah. Not of the car, no. but of the ceiling. So what do you think of this thing? That's pretty clean. Am I, am I lying to you on camera? No, it looks, it's, it looks newer than a new one. It I mean, is, yeah. Yeah, it looks, it's... Legit. If you told me it was... Like, look at the trim. Look at, like, the wiper yeah, arms. That's what I saw that on... Look at on, the trim. Yeah, it's all still look matte. All, no the, water all the rubber. Yeah, it looks perfect. <sighs> What's the interior look like? You know, once I get rid of the shininess of that leather... Dude, it looks brand new. <laughs> it's So someone literally bought this just to collect it? I mean... From well, I mean, I'm thinking I'm the fifth owner. Fourth yeah, or fifth I mean, owner. No of the one's thing, ever but. driven it. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it drove it like you or I would drive it, though. I mean, how many miles would your 20-year-old M3 have? You know, 27,000 miles? Probably yeah. more. I mean, I have, mine's three years old and I have 11. Yeah, but, yeah, but if you... Well, I mean, this is, this is not a M3, this was a Civic. So for someone to keep it this pristine for that many years, yeah. that's remarkable. Well, the last guy that owned it drove it, you know, 70 miles. So he was collecting. Yeah, he was collecting. So, and it had to have been maybe even the guy before him. Well, yeah, Tommy, the guy who owned it before, was you know the one who documented this car and yeah. did the up, you know, did the modifications to it. You know, he was a Honda Honda sales guy, yeah. Honda enthusiast, and so. But yeah, the factory installed leather. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, <laughs> it's like a time capsule. Yeah, this it's is like why if you bought it and stuck it in a capsule and kept it there for twenty years, it would not look any is, better than this. This is why people are going to get so mad at me for. Molesting this sucker. Yeah, but you're not going to do anything that's not reversible. So right. It's not like you're putting a wide body kit on. Exactly. All bolt on. Yeah. All and improvement. You know, all the factory parts that came on it. Right. right. I mean, like, look at the door door set. I know. I'm looking. It's not a scuff. <laughs> the door panel, the door car is perfect. Because yep. usually people hit it here or here mm -hmm. or here. I'm going to mess it up more than it's been messed up the steering wheel i've never seen with leather seats or whatever this is leatherette i've yeah. never seen that yeah apparently it was a real common you know it's a factory or i'm sorry dealer installed option so they you know, they'd hire they'd like sub it out and have guys come and swap it out yeah that's that's weird. i think it was like probably a two thousand bucks or eighteen hundred bucks or something they did like that, that with honda odysseys too the minivans i know you couldn't get those with leather and they they had dealer options i shouldn't say i know yeah. that that's the best on render we got right there, that F-150. You know what we should make for the last, like, the last couple of days is do your you know, the one where you do all like the cars stacked up. Yeah, I was starting to work on the Porsche ones. I'm doing like the stacked Porsches. And I was like, I kind of want to do like a white poster where all the Porsches are white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really cool white background with white Porsches. And then have like the Sapphire one in there. Like, you know, the Sapphire and the two lights. If we do, see if we can fit them all on one. Like do like the last do, like, two, two days before signature only. Make it like 75 bucks or something like that. So here's, here's what you could do. Yeah, we're gonna probably do like two. Early. You, could, you could mark it. Probably like two columns. Dang it. You could, he's in it, you could take that eight out. I need the, uh, we're gonna have to do, so my wheels should be here next week. And we'll do the dot two and then I wanna do it. Right here. So I have to have him make us one more. Okay, here's what we gotta do. We gotta take this crap down, all of it. And then uh, we got to take that off the wall, and then uh, that's then we got to put it all in over next door. All right, we got uh, two hose reels down. We got to relocate the box and pull in the what do you call that stuff? Unistrut down. One down, three to go. All right, we had some lunch. Motoring through here. And take these uh, fittings apart, piping down. This might not take as long as I thought it was going to take. We always say that. We always say that. If it was you, it would take three more hours, four more hours. You know? Oh, I'd still That's be on. The, I'd still be on the first hose reel. Yeah, it'd be a day more actually. I'm being too generous. Yeah, more than a day. I don't have an assistant like uh, Mike has. That's why. Hey, you don't. 
the assistant at. I'm, a, how many I'm, a, I'm like the king of anticipation. You guys are terrible at it. You know, I was trying to teach Michelle to anticipate. You know, if you see me holding something funky, come grab the other end of it. Hey, listen, I saw Mike almost drop that reel, and you didn't anticipate catching it. Well, I didn't think I was going to do something that <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, it's great. I, did you start to loosen that other reel? Uh-uh. Well, the bolts were not tight, so that's on me, because I installed it. <laughs> but I've never fell GT3. All right, turn the water off. So that we can take the pressure washer apart. All right, so all the piping's down. All the boxes are relocated. So now we're gonna tear this sucker apart. No more piping. But we do have to take, detach all the air compressor, get the, take the switch off the wall, all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna take this sucker off the wall. It's gonna take about five minutes to take it off the wall. It took weeks to get it on there. I think we can put this up uh, next time when it's not crooked. Can we put it up not crooked? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's possible. Yes. After this weekend, we're gonna be ready for an open house. No rusty water. What's it look like inside that pipe? Perfect. Yeah, yeah, no rust. Nothing. I mean, it is aluminum, but... But it shouldn't rust. It's not even oxidized. It would turn yeah, white. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It, it was... would turn white and powdery. If yeah. It's fine. Yeah, but, I mean, this is the guinea pig. Yeah. Uh, I think I told everybody, I said, look, you're on your own here. I'm giving you the stuff, but I don't know if it's actually going to work. And the water here is pretty hard. It's like 100 and... That's super hard, 160 parts per million, something like that. But the hardness isn't what we're doing. It's, the, it's when it comes out of this and it's... Got no eating through. Left in it and yeah. then it draws it if there if it was going to. True. I bet it's just gonna be fine for forever. Yep. This is the original prototype Cobra jet hose. What do you think? Should we bag the 24 inch shelf there? I don't know, we can put it there. Hmm? We may need it. Yeah, I mean I'm just thinking to put it, it may be better to put the uh, to put all the UPSs. Well, that's what I'm saying. Should we not put the shelf there and do? And again, I mean, it only sticks out the wall 24 inches. Doesn't save you a whole lot of UPS space. Yeah, but the top vertical. We can stack. The other thing we could do, well, the other thing we could do is we could put the shelf there and just don't put all the shelves on and just leave more space. You could stack them on the shelf. Yeah, that's true. This is going to be the story of my life for the next, you know, it's been for my entire life. You build something great, pull it off, redo it. With this, this will be version 2.0 of, well, at least of this. Yeah. And the piping compressor. Mm hmm. I'm starting to keep track on my cell phone with documentation every time I come out and redo it. And even dates. Every time your price goes up. So when we're like 80, we'll be able to... What's three times zero? <laughs> zero. Oh, oh shoot. Sorry. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't know that you knew math. I thought you were just the meat, the meat, the meathead, the, uh, the muscle. You know what would be handy right now? A ratchet and a half inch socket or a ratchet, a half inch ratchet wrench. Anticipation. 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 He's going to be over there for half an hour. <laughs> He's going to be calling us. And the time he gets back. Ratchet? Half inch ratchet wrench. Half inch ratchet wrench. Left side, the left side. This 26 and a half inch drawers on the left. All right, good. I'll stop that right then. We'll have it down by the time he gets back. You know, I'm, I'm purposely stopping so I don't steal his thunder when he comes back and it's already on the ground. You sure that socket won't fit on there? Uh, no. I don't think so. It's right up against it. I don't know. This was, uh, you're quite talented to get these in here. Yep. Not my fault that's where the darn bolts are. Bolts are. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I mean, I had washers. I had to take the washers off. Listen, if I was going to design something like this, I'd make it 18, 19 inches wide and put the bolts on 16 inch center. Yeah. 
Why do you make it 16 inches wide so you have to angle the bolts in to get to the stuff? When you build the OG spec version. Well, the plan would be to just build a bracket that holds all the stuff. Yeah. Well, I, I already had some ideas for that. Hose reel off the wall. We're going to swap that brass for a stainless. Are we, are we reusing this hose? Yeah. Are you going to do the new blue jumper hose? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to do the blue. Yep. Yeah. A couple of little minor, minor improvements. If I would have planned ahead, if I didn't have so many darn Honda Civics laying around, we would have been doing version 2.0. Oh, I don't know if I can help any. <laughs> That's all right. That's better than it was. That's much better. I'm going for real neatness and it's like I take it back off and install it. Right. Throw it up into a ball and just... Oh, yeah, but wait a minute, wait a minute. My toe's in there now. I'm getting all crazy now. It's all wonky. Starting to wrap my toes up in it. You got the PB plug on there? No. Yeah, it's on. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah it's, on. it's just not on the other end. It's just pouring out the other end. Okay, there's a hose reel. I can't help, I'm holding the camera. I know, I was just letting you film it. <laughs> okay, man. You got a bunch of holes to fix. It's gonna feel like we have a lot of room over here. So we put a giant shelf up. Yeah, I don't know, but we might, that might be a good idea in that. It's full of water. Yeah. You gotta get new filters. Should do a little rebuild video on this puppy. We don't got time for that. This thing has no oh, enough, doesn't have enough hours on it, you know. Yeah. That's why I did the wing nuts. Make yeah. it easy. In case so we can do version 2.0, 3.0. <clears throat> Shoot, we can't 4. do it. Well, when did we put this thing up? Two years ago? Something like that. It had been two years before we came. Yeah. You already had it up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna yank these off the wall. You want to, uh, you're gonna. You're we'll gonna have leave to get a box. You're gonna leave the disconnect, or do you want me to just take the disconnect? Nah, I think, yeah, I think we should take the disconnect and put a junction. A four square box here and mount here with a cover plate on it. We can I, 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 I think that's what we should do. Where's the breaker that feeds this? Right here. All right. We're out. Pressers out, we'll patch the wall up, we'll get a box. We'll be uh we'll be in business. This will be a nice little, little packing area. Hmm. Let's figure out what to do here. So many possibilities. Alright. Rex has got the compressor. He's got a uh sketch set up here. The compressor's gone and uh, now we gotta get working. We're on California time here today. I'm on California time. So Home Depot run so we're gonna tear this thing apart and then start mountain crap. That's the plan.